Sometimes teachers and students don't see eye to eye. If there's anything that gets a student fired up, it's when they get a grade they don't deserve. You know what I'm talking about. You stay up all night looking at a computer screen, typing up that perfect essay. But when you get it back, you have a huge C+. Grades are usually a pretty hot topic with high school students at MHS. And now a group of teachers, students, and administration are coming together to help find a way to bridge the gap between students and teachers when it comes to grading. Even though Thurman Allen follows the rules of the department, his views are a little different. Waiting I don't like, and, and here's my reason why. So uh, waiting for me is math, and I don't like math, so that's part of the problem. <laughs> and uh, so like I'll have students will turn things in thinking we'll raise their grade, but because they had already turned in everything for that particular category, then it doesn't change their grade. So if a kid is not very good at, at tests, then, you know, then he can make up the points doing homework or making sure he keeps track of the long-term assignments, et cetera. So, like, if I, I've had kids that have had test anxiety and they come in and they bomb things that I know that they know about, that's a little frustrating. Lauren Gentine has a unique perspective on how the grading system should change in the future. I wonder if it might be beneficial for, say, seniors to have five total grades for the grading period. Um, and they might have more things that they're doing, but those will, will only pick five really important things to grade. And then maybe juniors have five to ten, and freshmen and sophomores have ten to twenty grades that we're looking at. And that way, they're not coming in from junior high having everything graded, and all of a sudden they only have five grades. Um, but that way we're kind of preparing students who are going into college. Sophomore Alex Chung is very passionate about his grades and how they reflect what he's learned. Taking risks and failing at them is an important part of the learning process and the grading system discourages you from doing that to get the best grade. And competition, um, co competition though good for the workforce, is, is not conducive to a good learning environment. The future of the grading system is within the teachers and students of MHS. As semesters are coming around the corner, a change in the grading system could be as well. Let's change that C-plus to an A-plus. I'm Priya Patel, MBC News.